build arrow tower. So, the leader or R4 members of an alliance that's level 2 or higher can place an arrow tower within alliance territory. It can't be recycled and will disappear when its duration ends. You use rocks to upgrade the tower. Each rock used grants 100 extra alliance coins. The higher level the tower, the longer it can exist, and the stronger gathering bust it, buff it gives. I don't know why it doesn't bother to state why it says buffs. It's one buff it's gathering. Uh, level 6 castle required to help. Vent lasts for three days. Any rocks not placed... Um, or you can't place a tower after that, and any unused rocks will be converted to 10 diamonds. And after the event ends, you have one day to claim the rewards. So, let's look at how you get rocks. Uh, fortresses, daily quests, campaigns, arena. It even tells you how many you already obtained. They didn't used to do that. So, that's one thing the developers have done right. They, they inc included that. Uh, you can also buy them in packs. Um, as you can tell, because if you look at the personal ranks, 441 done. They've done a lot. Um, if you look at the rank thing, uh, there's alliance rank rewards for, you know, for the whole alliance. There's personal for how well you do yourself, but you have to get at least 200 points first before you can do that. And then, no rewards, but you can see how you're stacking up against others in your alliance. Um, you'll note, see how it says level 8, and there's an exclamation mark. Uh, people have been doing this. And here's where you can collect the rewards. You can spend money to unlock more rewards. Um... And then you can see, you know, despite the fact that the Alliance has reached level 8, I can't collect those yet. You have to go a certain number of times in order to collect the rewards yourself. To do that, you go to the arrow tower and you click that button. Um, I wish I knew who'd place the tower for us. I was offline. Um, but they put it exactly, I wonder if it was a blue demon. Uh... She's got a castle in my older alliance, so she knows exactly where I like it, right next to the iron mine. I'm, I'm kind of weird like that. My my alliance is perfectly formed. I've got the four buildings there. I've got the uh, border stones in the corners exactly. Anyway, you don't care about that. Uh, so anyway, you can click on it. You can go one at a time, or once you if you have ten rocks, you can go ten times at once. That's really the best way to do it. I usually wait until. Um, shortly before reset uh, to do it so that I can do a whole bunch at once. It does take up a march. Um, so doing 10 at a time is just much faster. Uh, and then as it builds, you can see we're already at level 8, I believe it said. Or are we, yeah, we have a level 8 tower. So... Currently, it provides an 8% boost, and it will last 5 days after the event ends. If we manage to get it all the way up to level 25, it gives a 30% boost to gathering speed, and will last 2 weeks after the event ends. So, that's really the goal. Try and get up there as high as possible. Um... One thing I do not know is if your castle has to be inside the borders of the Alliance for the Gathering Boost to take effect. Um, I know that for like the Alliance Gather skill, and actually I need to test that too. The Alliance Gather skill, you have to be inside the borders when it started. Um, which is why I have, you know, I, I use that skill Sundays or, you know, I start it five minutes before Ace Lord starts, because when Ace Lord starts, that's also a Boneyard event time, and some people go to the Boneyard, and if they're already in, if they're in the Boneyard when I start the, the Alliance skill, it won't affect them. I, but it's unclear this item, whether or not you have to be inside the borders for it to affect you, or if it just affects everyone in the Alliance. I don't know. If anybody does, feel free to say so in the comments. 
but yeah, that that's all there is to it. Um, there there are a number of events like this, um, which you know, I mean, they're they're not like the most fun events per se, but it's it's an interesting little thing. My only real complaint about them is the fact that there isn't any kind of in alliance competition. Um, you know, because some, some people like to have competition, but, you know, we're up against people who've been playing a lot longer, against people who can afford to spend a lot more money. So when you come here and you see that these are the kind of points people already have, um, that can kind of, um, discourage you. Whereas, you know, inside the Alliance, a lot of us are close, you know, we're a lot closer together in level and everything. And so, you know, having in alliance awards might be, might, might help with the incentive, but that's just my preference. One of these days I'll remember to go to the official discord and put that in as a suggestion, but anyway, so that's the event. Uh, have fun with it. Good luck.